Coach, what advice are you going to give your players uh, before the game tomorrow? What's the most important advice you're going to give them? The most important, I think, it's uh, to believe uh, what we did against uh, Napoli, what we did uh, against uh, Mukrun, uh, and uh, also uh, the way that we play against uh, Standard. Even if uh, we are a lot of frustration, um, we know that uh, it was a good game in the way that we play. So it's it's the first thing after. Uh, um, we must know also that uh, we play against uh, a good team, but we we must believe. We must believe. Uh, we did uh, we did this against Napoli, and uh, everything it's possible in uh, in football. So uh, we must we must go on the pitch with a lot of trust and uh, to want and uh, to have the desire to 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 make a good game. Coach, hello. Uh, is for you Liverpool the best team in Europe on this moment? If uh, if we look uh, in the league, in all uh, the the league, and uh, we we do the comparison between uh, all the league, I think when uh, a team like uh, Liverpool uh, take 25 points on 27, and um, yes, they play uh, like they play, so I think it's uh, yes one of the the best team uh, in Europe now, yeah. Yes, Perez the best, yes. Coach, what's the biggest difference between Genk now and before the game in Salzburg? What have you become better in since that game? Um, more training, uh, more videos. Uh, I think that uh, the group now um, there is uh, more understanding between us and um, uh, uh, some automatism and uh, they, they, they uh, know now, I think, uh, more the way that uh, I want that uh, we play. Um, that we need, uh, okay, to be offensive, uh, but uh, sometimes uh, when uh, you, you have a new team with new players, it's important also uh, uh, to, to defend in a, in a good way together. Anik. Coach, what makes Liverpool so dangerous? <laughs> Klopp. <laughs> <laughs> no, but we know that uh, uh, they score. They score easy. That uh, they have uh, three, four fi uh, strikers. Sorry, with a lot of speed. So it's uh, the first thing. Uh, a lot of players with uh, experience, with maturity, and um, and uh, a system, a philosophy with high press and they want uh, to be in the other side of the pitch every time in all the game. So uh, we must be attentive at this situation. It's uh, the most important and uh, the speed of the two striker because sometimes they, they try to play football but sometimes they give long ball for the, the two striker. They ask in the, in the depth, in the space and we must be attentive at this situation. Hello, Ali. Um, you play maybe against Virgil van Dijk. Do you think he's the best defender in the world? And what do you expect from the duels against him? Well, um, talking about him, uh, yeah, we could just see he become um, he wins the best players in uh, in Europe. I think uh, he deserves it. He's, we can say he's the uh, best defender at the moment right now because everybody's talking about him and we can just see him how he's playing, how he's helping the team to to win games. And then last season we see where they become champions. I think he helped a lot. But uh, at this game we are not talking about uh, Van Dijk. We are talking about Genk against Liverpool. So as Genk we, we have a plan to try to, to, to win the game. We will not focus uh, on one player. Uh, buongiorno, mister. Buongiorno. <laughs> but I'm going to ask you the question in English. Um, you manage here at this very stadium, you manage to stop Napoli. Um, so, of course, you cannot let us in on the secret, why, you know, on your secret. But uh, can you pull the same cards to stop Liverpool today, uh, tomorrow? Sorry. I hope, but... Uh 
it's a different game, it's a different team that we play against. So uh, uh, if uh, we believe and we play uh, like against Napoli, I think uh, that we can uh, make a good result. So uh, we hope, everybody hope, uh, the club, the staff, the team. So, uh, okay, we try to do the same. Coach, before the game against uh, Napoli, you said maybe I have to get a chewing gum like Ancelotti. What would you like to take over to imitate from Klopp? <laughs> uh, I don't know. Perhaps uh, uh, how uh, I, I can say in English, uh, like a skate, come on, yeah. a hat. Perhaps the hat. Yes, perhaps. <laughs> yes, at the training. So perhaps tomorrow. Ali, this must be a game you always uh, have, have dreamed of as, as, as a kid. I um, think you were uh, very interested as, as a young kid already from English football. Now you play the Champions League winner from England. Um, was this also your favorite club when you were young, uh, Liverpool? No, no, was not. Um, I said a lot of times that uh, when I was a kid, I was used to support Manchester United. Well, we are not talking about uh, Manchester United right now. We are talking about Liverpool, but we believe they're a strong team right now in the Premier League, but also in European competitions. So um, we expect a tough game tomorrow, and uh, we're going to try to break them down. Anyway, we are playing in front of our supporters. It's our home games. So we want to be happy after the game. We're going to do our best. You think you can um, also make them happy, even if you not win. You just have to to do to do your best and and go and give everything you've got. Yeah, um, I think it's a dream game to every kid when he want to play football. He's dreaming about playing this kind of games. So um, and after you need to have a good memory after the game. So we'll try to do what we can do to make sure that uh, we become happy and it have to be a good memory after the game. We'll do our best and go 100%. You felt during the game against Napoli that, it, that these are special games? You feel a, a different atmosphere on the pitch? You yeah, know, you since... Have, you have uh, goosebumps when they play the, the, the Champions League song, the hymn? You, you don't really have a good bum, goosebumps, but uh, it, it's a nice feeling, you know. Just uh, as a kid, you watch these kind of games, but now you are in the pitch playing against those teams that you've been looking a long time ago. So um, it's a nice feeling to be in the Champions League night since the game against Salzburg. I think it's a, it's a very nice moment to be in. Ali, uh, do, you, do you know if a lot of people in Tanzania are watching the game? Uh, do you get messages about that? A lot of them. and. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, everybody's talking about uh, the game of tomorrow. Everybody's talking about uh, Ali and Van Dijk, you know, because um, everybody's speaking about Van Dijk is the best defender, so they just want you, you know, you maybe do something against him, you have to pass him, you have to dribble him, but, you know, everybody's talking about it, and I think a lot of them, they're going to watch the game tomorrow. But as a team, we are not focusing on one player, we'll try to win the game. Next. Coach, which uh, weaknesses have you found in the Liverpool squad when seeing them play against Man United uh, last weekend? What I have seen. Which weaknesses? Um, I think that uh, when Salah is, is not on the pitch, um, the, the striker, the, the, the movement of the striker are a little bit different. So... Um, I don't know if tomorrow uh, Salah will be there, if he's injured or not. Uh, but uh, I think it's the first, the first difference. And uh, <clears throat> the, the system of uh, Manchester United, uh, they play with uh, five, uh, a defense with five players. So uh, I think it's uh, uh, in this moment against uh, Liverpool in Man Manchester, I think that it was a, a good thing for, uh, for them. So, uh, but... Uh, uh, it's a good point uh, for uh, for Liverpool even if uh, Manchester United uh, play well during uh, one half. 
is it an option for you to adapt to that system that Man United used? Yes, we have uh, a lot of options. Uh, so uh, we will see tomorrow. No more questions, gentlemen? Then I thank Ali and Felice. And uh, the press conference in Liverpool, 7.30, with James Milner and Jurgen Klopp. Thanks. Thanks. Thank you, guys.